What's up guys, I'm going to show y'all how to fix an overheating terminal. This could happen for a couple of reasons like high resistance, uh, bad device, too much electrical current or a loose connection. Now in my case, it's either the alternator, so I need a 12 mil for that, a box cutter and wire brush, get the correct size uh, terminal, and a big ass uh, terminal crimper. Optionally, if you don't want to get the crimper, you can go old school and use a hammer and a flathead or a chisel. Before disconnecting any connection, first I'm going to disconnect the battery. So the first thing I do is inspect the most obvious things like the wire and the connection. Immediately you can see that the wire is cut right there. From the beginning to the end of the connector, it's completely cut. That causes arcing and overheating. So we're gonna have to replace the connector and correct that. This car only has uh, 32,000 miles. I'm surprised that this is happening, but shit happens. So we only got a little bit of wire here. It's not enough to make a new connector. So you're gonna need uh, like some box cutters. Cut down that insulation to expose enough wire to go into the connector. Just Cut the insulation along there. Twist the wires with some pliers to make it even. Now we're ready to put the new connector on. You can get these at like auto parts or in my case I got this one at Home Depot. Make sure to get the right size for your car. So to use this tool you just twist the little black things until it says the right the right gauge size and then you just squeeze it down right over the connector and it crimps it shut make sure the connector is tight pull on it it ain't going nowhere with the wire brush I'm gonna clean up the stud that has some rust on it to make sure I get a good solid connection Now I'm going to assemble everything back together and test it out. Alright, so I got the whip on here, been had it on, zip tie nation. Um, so far it's, it hasn't been burning. Before it was burning immediately when I started up, I was getting like my battery light was flickering and uh, it, it wouldn't hold a charge I would have to jump the car now it's not burning anymore by the way if you don't have the crimper you to do it with the hammer you just need to put the connector on put the flathead over and just go old school man hit that shit until it flattens and it holds the wire together pretty tight Make sure the connector is tight, as you can see. I did test the alternator with the multimeter to make sure that it was giving out the correct voltage and uh, no voltage drop. So the car's been running for a while now, just to make sure it's not gonna heat up. Um, before, when it was burning, and you guys clearly saw the smoking at the beginning of the video, I actually, attempted to touch it just to uh i was trying to pull back the rubber cover but um it, it burned me and now it's clearly not burning me so like shit that's a step forward you know and at the time of recording this um the voice it's been a while and i've had no problems no more battery flickering light everything's good Don't replace alternators for fun. Fix it yourself.